everybody. Welcome to the Wi-Fi of Everything. I'm Robert Boardman and... I'm Roel Dionisio. And I'm doing a return engagement. I'm Dennis Burrell from <laughs> Ventive Wireless Infrastructure. You know this is going to be the first one we show, right? <laughs> oh, well... Th- <laughs> this is the next one, then. Welcome. I'm Dennis Burrell from Ventive Wireless Infrastructure. <laughs> All right, so what are we going to talk about today in this first video with Ventive? <laughs> okay, so today we're going to talk about the Venvolt, our battery, our new battery that we just... A nice used. glass of orange juice, right? Yeah, it's hashtag orange juice. And it's not just any ordinary battery. It's no. Not the, it's not the one you plug into our, you know, really good, reliable microphones. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, a, that, that's another story yeah. in itself. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a little bit bigger than a double A. Yeah. Right, so this is our battery for your kits when you're doing site survey. So this is our new site survey battery. All right. All right. Um, what does it do? This is taking a couple of years for us to come out with, um, not because we had other things to do, but just because, <laughs> <laughs> just because of uh, technology and um, all of the ass that we were having. And when the 3802 came out, mm. that was pretty much the driver to yep. everyone yes. wanting a new battery. Time to do the battery. Time to do exactly. battery. Yes. Yeah, so if those of you who don't know, the 3802 does not work. Unless you have AT power. Exactly. There is no shut a radio down. There mm-hmm. is no turn down a little, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was nope. hard to do those, yeah. those surveys if you're using AP on a stick because you just couldn't find the power for it. Yeah. Right. Well, we found a way, but it was ugly. It was, right. yeah. And it, it was clumsy. There was a it way was to do it. And it, was, and it was more than one part. So basically, we took everything that you needed to do those site surveys and condensed it into one housing. And it's, right. it's quite nice. Those of you who haven't had a chance, I mean, it's light. I mean, I, I don't think this thing weighs more than three pounds. Yeah, uh, four pounds, actually. Four pounds? That's mm-hmm. not bad. Well, the bigger question is how long will this last? So, depending on your test scenario, this battery will last anywhere from six to 21 hours. Um, six hours That's being the survey. testing that we did with a 3802. Okay. In dual radio mode Ooh. with two client devices communicating with the AP and okay. with each other. Okay. okay. Awesome. And also, it's got a USB in the front, which means you can charge your phone at the same yeah. time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, one of the things that I would like to do um, before we go any further is actually thank all of the Wi-Fi pros that gave feedback. Uh, we we had this at Cisco Live, one of our, our first units at Cisco Live. It was almost mine. And everyone was <laughs> providing feedback, so we incorporated as much of the likes or what you would like to see in this battery as possible. So thank you to the Wildland Pros for all of your input. Yeah, cool. it was, because I remember we had, there were some ports in different spots when we first showed it out. Um, not as many, um, not as much information. Yes. It was a little bit less informative, but now it's, it even tells you how to take it apart. Right. <laughs> and also, um, one of the concerns or the questions you may have is, can I take this on a plane? With yes. Mm. And the answer is yes. TSA says that if the battery is 100 watt hours or less, uh-huh. you can. And this is 84 watt hours. There so you, you can take this on the plane with so, you. So what is the battery? Because you and I have been having this conversation before, and you were the one who got closest <laughs> to saying it completely. So. <laughs> right. So this is a lithium ion phosphate battery, or what they call in the industry, light, light pro. Light pro. Light pro. Not light po. Light po. Is it light po? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll, 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 we'll find out. Yes, <laughs> if somebody knows, go ahead and put it in the comments, and we'll be glad to give you credit for that one. But this is why we like editing, so you probably won't hear this, I hope. So, you But will. it is light po. <laughs> he thinks we edit. <laughs> But yeah, it's got ports on the side here where you can plug in your AP. Oh, and it AP, has... AP, Ethernet. Ethernet in yes, also. Yes, for the Meraki folks. <laughs> and one of the things that uh, also that we took um, took into account is when you power it up, um, it actually shows the voltage, what the voltage of the battery is. And also, it actually has a battery indicator to let you know um, the charge level on your battery. And when you... Your battery is less than 50%. We recommend that you start charging. Yep. You can also charge this while you're doing site surveys as well. Nice. Um, another good thing that I don't think a lot of people talk about, and we had to, we talked about it a little bit at Cisco Live, was the negotiation factor. It actually right. shows up as a proper 
POE negotiation. Yes. And I had a test unit back when a couple um, weeks ago, mm -hmm. back in the beginning of November, and I actually hooked a 3802 up to it, and it came up and showed as a 3802 in the switch. Awesome. Which was which was really really good to see, as well as the fact that another thing that I found it does a passive pass through. So it, if I hooked it up to a POE switch through that, didn't have that on, it's the AP still powered on. Yes. So you were not required to. Um, you could do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting that it actually does a proper POE negotiation. It's not just handing out some power. So, so, so I guess the only thing now is for those who use tripods, I guess we're going to see 3D printed mounts. I, I, I might have a few ideas. <laughs> we, 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 we've got some discussions going on. It's got yeah, the, so, the rubber on there. So like yeah. we mentioned, we couldn't incorporate everything, but um, these guys have been brainstorming on different ways to mount yeah. this. Um, we have our mounting legs so you can, or mounting stand so that you could yeah. place yeah. it this way or this way. I mean, but as far as putting it on a tripod... Honestly, with this, it's, I think you guys have gone as far as you guys could go with it. Honestly, you got us a great battery. It's light. It can go on a plane. Um, it lasts long. It lasts long. Well, you know, we've had people say, oh, only eight hours? Like, who surveys past eight hours? If, if you get somebody who can do a straight survey for eight hours, can I hire them? <laughs> um, no breaks. No, no breaks, no breaks. nothing, just straight survey, <laughs> eight hours. Um, and then also, we're just looking at the fact that there isn't really a standard out there for doing surveys. Right. So it's not like you say, well, this will mount to this tripod. Because right. not everybody uses a tripod. I've seen people using wheelie carts and paint poles. Mm -hmm. Yes. And in that scenario, yeah, just that's right there. Or I've seen them with... Uh, and it's not going to move around because no, it's, it's got the got rubber, rubber on feeds, the Yeah. Um, like I've seen the furniture movers, you know, the little four-wheeled furniture yeah. movers. People put a pole at that. So, I mean... I've seen them use pelican cases. Yes. Um, I'll be interested to see, you know, if Hive Radar kind of switches out what they're doing to put that in there. Because the battery that Hive Radar had in there was, remember that battery? That mm -hmm. thing was huge. Yeah. And this, yeah. So it'll be interesting. This is kind of a, what's, what's the word that certain people like to say? Game changing. Yeah. In, sur in site surveys. All I have to say is finally, because now we yeah. needed this. Yeah. And we needed the AT power and we've got it. And if you're curious, that 3 amp in the front does charge a MacBook Pro, a brand new MacBook Pro. Um, I've got a couple pictures on Twitter that I took. I was actually yeah. charging he it. He used it as a shelf. I used it, yes. But it also put sits. Put his MacBook on, is, on top of it. And it gives you a nice ventilation. You see that little space right there? It gives you a nice little under <laughs> Multi-purpose yeah. battery. Just in case, you know, you don't have an outlet, this is, this is going to do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for showing this to us. Is there anything else you want to tell us about this thing? Uh, that we're very proud of it, um, and we hope that the industry adopts it and uses it, yep. and just provide us feedback once you actually do get one and start using it. One of my one of my favorite things about it being the three D printing guy mm -hmm. is that the shell is actually three D printed. So the interesting thing here is you guys aren't stuck with say two hundred thousand. Uh, injection molded parts that it's going to have to look like this forever. Right. You you have two separate pieces that I would say about four or five hours a piece. You could have a different top. You could have a different bottom if you needed to change mm -hmm. something out. Say somebody decided that hey, we need to stick another three amp in there. Yeah. You or don't have to go custom all looking the way battery. Back so the drawing board. So one thing that I'll say about that is that our warranty won't cover ah, everything. Oh, I'm that saying you, you guys oh, can do it. Oh, yes. I thought, I thought yeah. you was. Oh, I'm not, oh I'll do that. Oh no, I've got a couple ideas for mine, okay. and I understand. <laughs> I understand that I just went ahead and ripped that warranty table exactly. off as soon as I get one. So yeah, no, it's like I said, it is. It is. This thing is. This thing is beautiful. It's. Yep. It's. It was one of. The most needed things in our industry, I think. Yeah, um, like I said, it garnered a lot of attention at Cisco Live. I mean, actually, you guys were bringing people by to actually look at it and talk mm -hmm. about it. So, so I, yeah. think, I think we got a winner here. I think you do. So are we allowed to talk MSRP on this and when people are allowed to get it? or um, It should be available next quarter. Okay, so talk to your salespeople, if I'm correct. Talk to your Ventive yeah. sales right. rep. And they will get you into um, getting into it. Getting right. you into getting in a battery. Exactly. <laughs> um, I don't know the, what the MSRP is right now, but um, based on the technology and what we have in it, 
it will be um, economical based on what's in it. Okay. Awesome. And what we have to offer. All right. That's what I like to say. So is it less than so free, right? Free. You're handing them out as you're handing them out as door economical. prizes at, 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 um, at conferences, right? No, but we're actually giving <laughs> we're giving one away throughout twelve days of Christmas yep. program. So you or contest. Oh, program. actually, I think that will have already closed by the time this airs. Okay. But yeah. So that means that we gave one away. And then Roel well, gave, gave one away. I gave one away. And we might be doing something. Yeah. We're we're, we're in talks with Ventive. We're in talks. I'm not as big, or sorry, we're not as big as Rowell is big. So, you know, we have to talk to a few people <laughs> right. about, you know, we have, to, have to do favors to give away something. Okay. And we always and we always do we something. We don't want to like, know what those favors are. But. And we always do something at the major conferences. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't so we'll see be why seeing, this we'll may be not seeing be a lot of these. Yeah. To give away at the conferences. But that as well. would be an interesting, that's a nice, pretty prize right there. Exactly. So, cool. awesome. If you guys have any questions or comments about this let us know down in the comments section and we'll relay the, any questions that people have to you or anyone yep. your sales who, who your sales rep is who ha happens to be standing over here yep. yeah we have the, the west coast guy over here laughing at us so <laughs> and if you want to tweet about it hashtag <laughs> orange, orange juice, juice and we'll get those get it. questions yep. as well get it get it get orange, it. orange, orange juice. and juice orange vintage yeah. orange orange <laughs> orange and it gives you juice and it gives you juice exactly all right, all right. thank you everybody thanks guys bye-bye Hey everybody, hope you guys enjoyed the latest episode of the Wi Fi of Everything. I uh, hope you found it educational, entertaining, and you learned something. So please feel free to leave comments below. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know your ideas. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notifications button, and check out some of our other videos. So until next time, guys, have a good day.